Hi there, welcome to day 19 of Science Challenge. Um, over the next week or so, I'm going to break it up in a little bit, but we're going to make a weather station. So we're going to make lots of instruments that will tell us about the weather. Um, and we're going to be able to put those outside in our garden and use them to tell us um, what the weather's doing. So today we're going to make something called a weather vane. So you might have seen these on the top of churches or tall buildings. What they do is they blow in the wind, they turn and they tell you the direction that the wind is going. Okay, so we're going to need a few things to make one of these. You're going to need some kind of tin, um, empty tin. I've just got an old chopped tomatoes tip. I've taken the label off. Um, make sure it's clean. Sometimes I have a bit of a sharp edge, so just uh, maybe ask an adult to help and make sure they haven't got a sharp edge around the outside. You're going to need a piece of thick cardboard, um, a circle to draw around, and um, some rocks and a bit of mud, and um, a lump of Play-Doh or plasticine, something, or uh, modelling clay, something that you can stick your um, weather vane into. Um, you're probably not going to be able to use that again, okay? So afterwards, like you see mine, it's already a bit muddy. Um, you're also going to need a pencil and a pen lid that the pen lid can sit on the pencil and twist easily, okay? So I've got this one here. This pen lid twists really easily on this pencil, okay? So it will spin round because um, that's going to that's gonna be the bit of the weather vane that spins, okay? Um, and this pencil you're probably not going to get back um, and the pen lid for the duration of the weather vane's life you're not going to be able to use. Okay, so let me tell you how to do it. First of all, um, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to draw around a circle that is slightly larger than your can. Okay, so if this is my can, I've chosen this tin, which is a little bit larger. I'm going to draw a circle um, around that and I'm going to cut it out. There we go, I've already done that. So um, cut out. You're then also going to make some kind of arrow. So again, um, this is going to be the bit that twists on your weather bay. You're going to draw out an arrow. Now, one thing that's really important about your arrow is that the arrow head has got to be smaller than the arrow end. So here's one I made earlier. Obviously, it took me a long time to do this. It's very neat and professional. You might want to make yours a little bit nicer. Uh, you could paint it, you could colour it. But you can see that my arrow head is smaller than my arrow end. That's going to be really important later if we're going to get the right direction. OK, so once you've drawn them out here, you're just going to cut them out using some sharp scissors. OK, then, like I say, colour in your arrow. Um, the other thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make our little compass to tell us what direction the wind is facing. So what I've done is I've just put a bit of a double sided sticky tape on there. I'm going to stick it on in a minute. I've drawn around the same can on a piece of paper. And then I've added north, east, south and west. And I've added uh, the other ones, north, east, south, east, south, west and north, west onto my compass point. I'm going to stick that onto my cardboard. OK, so I've stuck on my compass onto my piece of cardboard. Um, if you haven't got double sided sticky tape, use glue. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can even use sellotape. Right, the other thing I'm going to need now is a hole in the middle of that. OK, so again, using some sharp scissors, ask an adult to help. Um, I've already put my hole in, but you're going to put a hole in through your cardboard that your pencil can fit through. OK, that doesn't need to spin, but uh, your pencil will go through that. OK, so now I've got my compass ready. I've got my pencil. I've got my arrow. I need to weight down my tin. So all of this is going to sit in here, but this is going to blow over it on a windy day. So what I've got, um, I've been around the garden, I've just collected a few rocks. So I'm going to put those on the base just to weigh down my tin, okay? Just uh, help them settle in there. Then I'm going to put my ball of Play-Doh in there and I'm just going to stick it down just so that it's firm in there. And then I'm going to put my pencil into my Play-Doh. Okay, so that should be fairly firm. Okay, then I'm just going to take my soil and fill in so that it feels nice and rigid. Okay, pop that in and then this isn't going anywhere, it's weighted down. Okay, next thing then is my compass is going to go over the top of that and there is my weather vane. Okay, right, so now for the clever bit. Um, I'm going to take my arrow and I'm going to take my pen lid that sat nicely onto my pencil and I'm just going to use a bit of tape. Again, sellotape will be fine for this. I've got duct tape. 
Yeah. Okay, so using my duct tape, I'm just going to attach my pen lid to my arrow. Then I'm simply going to just pop that on there. And then as you can see, it spins nice and freely. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is align my weather vane correctly. Okay, so I need to know in my garden which way is north, which way is south, etc. Now today is a really still day, so you're not going to see much movement of the weather vane. Even if I hold it up, um, yeah, there's very, very little wind at all. Um, but it, it does spin quite nicely. Okay, so you're going to need to work out which way, um, which way is north, which way is south. The easiest way to do this is to go into your garden at 1 p.m. on a sunny day, okay? Whichever direction the sun is in, that is south, okay? So currently it's just after 1 at the moment, um, but the sun, the sun at 1 o'clock was about here. So I know that that direction is south. So my weather vane south is in that direction, north is in that direction. Pop it somewhere where it's going to catch a bit of wind. Um, probably not close to the house, but somewhere where it's going to get a bit of wind um, and then uh, align it correctly and then let it let it spin in the wind and see which direction the wind is traveling. OK, have a bit of fun. Um, we'll be making other various parts of our weather station over the next week or so. We won't do it every day. We'll break it up, but we'll make a few other things as well. But uh, that's how you make a weather vane. Enjoy.